Hey there, it's Jenna from The Intern Hustle, and if there is one thing that I can say with absolute certainty, it's that you should always follow up after an interview with a thank you email. Seems simple enough, right? Well then why doesn't everyone do it? I'm going to break down the thank you email in this video with guidelines that you can follow to easily write your own. And this is all based on what has worked well for me in the past and helped me secure competitive internships and jobs that I was interviewing for. So hit that like button if you're ready to dive in and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week on this channel. Hey there, I'm Jenna Ryan from TheInternHustle.com and this is Initiative Muscle Monday, helping you to start each week with an intentional step toward a successful future. Let's do I'm this. I'm gonna share my thank you email guidelines with you first. Then stick around to the end of this video because I'm sharing a template that you can use when crafting your thank you emails. All right, so onto the guidelines. First up, always send your thank you email within 24 hours of your interview. The earlier the better because you never know how quickly a company may be making their decision. I like to block time on my calendar immediately following an interview to work on my thank you emails and any follow-ups that I have, while everything that I discussed with the company is still top of mind. And I'm not saying that you need to rush and immediately send a thank you the hour after your interview, but by blocking up the time to write it, you're at least ensuring that it gets done and that you can get it out the door within that 24 hour window. You're protecting yourself from things popping up and distracting you. Remember, always send an email within 24 hours of your interview. The next point is super important, and I think even a lot of people who do send thank you emails miss this one. I want you to send a separate email to each and every person who you interview with. And if there was someone on the recruiting team or an office manager who was responsible for coordinating your interview or interviews, then send them a thank you as well. It doesn't matter that they didn't interview you. They are a key member of the team and they worked hard to get you on the schedule. So sending them an email expressing your gratitude can go a long way. For this point, just remember that it's one email per person that you meet with or who played a role in your interview process. Finally, make sure that your thank you emails accomplish three things. One, thank the person for their time. Two, reference something specific from your conversation with them. And three, express your interest in the company. Got it? Okay, let's break these down a little bit further. First, it's a thank you email. So of course the first step should be to thank them. These are busy professionals and they just took time out of their day to interview you. Thanking them for their time is just the right thing to do. Second, you want them to remember you. So mentioning something specific from your conversation with them or maybe even an interest of theirs that you picked up on during the interview will help you stand out and show that you are paying attention. And the third component of a great thank you email is all about making them feel wanted. They wanna know that you are genuinely interested in this role with their company and that this interview wasn't just one of many that you showed up to, even if that is the case. Think about it. If the tables were turned and you received thank you emails from two different candidates, one talking about how excited they are for the opportunity to work with your company and the other just said, thanks for your time, you'd wanna work with the person who thanked you and is also excited to work with you. Wouldn't you? So now do you wanna see all of these components of a thank you email in action? Let's review a thank you email template that you can use after an internship or job interview. Kick it off with a simple introduction of hi and their name, and then jump right into it. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet with me today. It was great to learn more about, insert company name, and our conversation only confirmed my excitement for this opportunity. So you're knocking two things out in this first opening blurb. You're thanking them for their time, and then you're also expressing your interest and excitement in this opportunity. Then we're gonna go on to that third component where I talk about really tying it back to them and making it specific to the conversation that you had with them. I really appreciate what you shared about, and then insert a specific detail about their team, a project they mentioned, their company values, et cetera. And really you wanna mention why you like what they shared or what was important about what they said and how did that resonate with you. Then close it out by saying, please let me know if there are any additional questions that I can answer for you. I look forward to hearing about next steps. Now this last part is optional, but if you do know something a little personal that they shared with you that would be a great close, it's a fun way to end your email. I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about in the email that I'm throwing up next. So here's what it looks like filled out. Hi John, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to meet with me today. It was great to learn more about green media and our conversation only confirmed my excitement for this opportunity. I really appreciate what you shared about the company org structure. It was clarifying to see how I, as an intern, could have the opportunity to contribute across multiple teams. Please let me know if there are any additional questions I can answer for you. I look forward to hearing about next steps. Good luck to your son's team in the state tournament this weekend. 
Jenna. You see how I added that last line, good luck to your son's team in the state tournament this weekend? That was a second way that I could tie back to our conversation. Because let's say in my interview, he was telling me about how his son is gonna be in the state basketball tournament. And he's really looking forward to that as his weekend plans. How awesome for me to just include that as a final sign off line to show that I was paying attention and that I care about him personally as well and not just the role at the company. A simple and effective subject line for all of these emails is thanks for your time. Don't overthink it. People tend to open up the easy emails first and one that is simply thanking them is just the kind of email they wanna open. And one final thing before I wrap up, don't forget to send a thank you email to anyone that you meet with for an informational interview or a virtual coffee chat as well. Now the content will change slightly of course because you'll be thanking them for sharing more about their professional journey versus the company and your close will be more around staying in touch with them versus hearing back about next steps. But the general sentiment holds true. Thank them for their time and do it within 24 hours of meeting with them. I cannot stress the importance of a timely thank you email enough. Always send a thank you after an interview. The last company I worked for had a policy. We didn't hire someone if they didn't bother sending a thank you. It didn't matter how qualified or awesome they were. No thank you, we didn't hire them. So don't cut yourself off from even having the chance. You worked hard to get the interview, take a few minutes to properly follow up with a thank you. Thanks for watching. If this video gave you some new insights today, please give it a like and share it with a friend or two. Hit that red subscribe button below so that you don't miss out on future videos. In support of your hustle, I'm Jenna from theinternhustle.com and I'll see you next Monday.